Thanks for watching this video. I am Sijesh and this video I will walk you through the process of enabling high availability in HTTP3. So this is the latest version at the time of recording and so the process almost looks similar to the previous version. So I have installed this cluster on three node. Okay. So I have installed master as well as the slave worker component on this host. Again, so this is a testing type of environment. So in actual case, you may need more servers like a master in separate, worker in separate, management and edge node separately. So as I said, like this is a testing environment purely for testing some of the features that HTTP3 provides. So here I will go through uh, the process of enabling high availability. So for enabling high availability from the service, click HDFS and from the action menu, there is an option for enable name node HA. Okay. So to check the name node HA, just type HDFS DFS DF H. So you will get that namespace ID. Okay. And uh, so what is the total capacity and usage? So this is the namespace ID. So master1.hadoop.com. But uh, if you enable HA, so I mean, so here this means it's our name node is running on master1. So if we enable high availability, so you instead of master1 or master2, you will get another name so that you need to add here. So this is the name service ID. Any name you can add. So I just use the training name HA. So this is the name which I'm going to use for my name service ID. Then next and uh, current name node. So this is the one you cannot change and additional name node where you are going to add. So I'm just using it on master two. Okay. And journal nodes. So these are the set of hosts that helps us to do this share edit. So basically the both uh, master and master two, I uh, will have to communicate with this journal node to get the namespace in sync. Okay. So minimum we need uh, three journal nodes. So I have selected these three and uh, similar to the previous version here you can see the secondary name node is getting deleted when we add additional name node and this is about the configuration and all just click next and uh, so here it's saying uh, log into the name node and uh, do see th this set of comments. So this looks almost same as that we have done in previous version. So if you can switch to HDFS user, then you can just execute this command alone. Or if you are in a user that supports sudo, just copy the entire string and do. So I have the root credential available. So I'm using only this portion of the command and switching to HDFS user because this command is restricted to super user. So I'm entering into safe mode and then uh, doing a checkpoint. So this has to done from the our main name node, I mean our current name node. So do this command. So once you complete this one, then only the next icon will be activated. So do that. Yes, you can see the message save namespace is successful. And go back. Yes, you can see checkpoint has created and this become active. Click next. Then it takes some time to stop all the services and it has to disable the secondary name node. So wait till then. Then click next. Then here again, so go to the master one and switch to HDFS user and execute this command. Copy that. Then here it's clearly mentioned on which host. So it's master one. So log in to master one and switch to HDFS user and execute this one. 
complete it go back to the console right then click next then click next so this command again so it's saying log into master one and do this one so sudo suhdfs means you have to switch to hdfs user so if you have any user that has super user privilege or sudo then you can copy the entire line so since i have already logged into hdfs user so no need to copy this line so i can just use this line alone so go to the master one and execute this one so that's it then it's saying okay so log into master 2 so it, it's clearly written as master 2 and uh, so execute this command as hdfs user okay so go to the master 2 then switch to hdfs user and execute this command that's it done so once it's completed i can click next and continue so yeah okay so that's it we have completed and uh, so you can see from the status so we have uh, two name nodes one is active and uh, another is in standby state so standby name node is here active name node is here and the zookeeper failover controller and uh, general nodes so that's it about enabling high availability so i hope you like the content so please do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching bye